What is up? How are you? My name's James Turnipseed. You might read that somewhere around here. Um, so I did an unboxing slash short review for the Razor Cracker Pro, which I'm using right now. And I thought, oh, well, now that I used it some more, I should come back and revisit this and give it a full review. I'll try to keep it short, though, because I still like them and love them like crazy. So... <clears throat> I'll give you the good, the bad, and the not so big of a deal. So they're good. They work perfect. Um, this microphone, you can just push it in here. You see how there's little indentation here where my finger is? You just push that in there and it hides it very well. For travel, um, they fit comfortable even after hours and hours of gaming. Or listen to music or whatever you want to do with them. Because they do sell these without the microphone for uh, just as headphones. Which I'm debating if I want to buy them. Because who doesn't need a new pair of headphones, right? The bad, um, well no, more of the good. They fit comfortable. They don't squeeze your head. Um, they got noise canceling. But these, these are very comfortable. The foam covers your whole ear. So, um, and the noise canceling works really good if um, you have something playing. Like if you're playing a game or playing computer, listening to music, watch a movie, whatever. But when there's nothing, so if you just have them on your head getting ready, you can hear <clears throat> almost everything around you, which is cool. So, if somebody's like, hey, and you're like, well, what? You know, <clears throat> you still hear them, you can hear TV, you can hear everything. But not when you're playing, when you have something playing inside, or not inside. When you're using them, you can't hear. So, that's pretty cool. Um, the bad, uh, these will mess your hair up pretty good. See how, as far back, usually my hair ends up sticking up back here and over here. So you get pretty good headphone hair. Um, the bad, oh, they're also kind of bulky. Hey, here I'm gonna take them off. So they're kind of bulky. You see? So if you could fold them up like this, and then you try to jam that one in there, but then you're jamming the cable too, so that's probably not that good. So see, they're pretty big too. They don't fit down here that well, you know. That's only the bad though, like, and that's also not so big of a deal, you know, so, you're gonna want to buy a headphone stand, which, through my experience, if you try to find it at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Ross, those kind of stores, Fry's, electronic stores, it's damn near impossible. Razor sells one on their website, but they're sold out, um. Amazon.com, you can find a couple. So, that's about it, though. Other than that, I like it. I love it. I want more of it. They sell them green, black, white. They have limited edition gold ones. Or, rest. like, they sell a whole bunch of different colors. And they release, or are releasing the neon. Crack and neon, which has a bunch of pretty cool colors. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, Razorzone.com. Buy it. That's all I gotta say about it. Buy it. If you want it, buy it. Unless you're like a diehard Turtle Beach fan. That's the only difference I can see it. But these are cheaper than most Turtle Beaches and they look cool. Sorry, I'm a dork. Yes, that's all I have to say. Peace.